I see a lot of people taking screenshots instead of exporting image. And also you ask a lot about how to export image properly in Revit. Well, since it's really important to know how to do it properly, I'm going to show you how you can export high quality images from your projects in Revit. First thing you need to know is about crop view. So there are two icons in here. This is crop view. If you click on it, it will be active and it will crop your view where you created that rectangle. So this is the rectangle. This is our view that is going to be exported if we export the image. If you click on this one, it says show crop region it will show and hide the crop region it will give you this rectangle this black rectangle and you can just move it around and adjust your view if you want to have a specific size for your image you can click on this size crop and in here you can set the number that you need also if you are in 2d view you can select the crop view and in here you can change the view so I'm going to just simply create a rectangle in this part, very simple. And then if I trim it and after that finish this view, it will give me a view like this. Now if I don't need these parts, I can delete them. And after that, if I export this view, I'm going to have only these parts. For exporting any image, you need to go to file and export. Click on this part. And here you will find images and animation. Click on this image and this is the window that we are going to work on. First section is the output. In here you can assign an address and give a name for your image. I'm going to put it on my desktop and for its name let's go with A. You can change the type, the format of your image. We are going to do it in another part. Now. I'm going to save it and in the second section we have the export range we have three options in here first is this current window if you click on ok in here it will export only this window only in this 3d view that we are in it now it will not export the level the plan the elevations that you have it will only export this cropped view i'm going to export it right now just to show you how it looks so this is the image that we exported you can see that it's exactly like the view that we had in this window let me move this window to one side and now if i go back to export section in the second option of export range we will have the visible portion of current window it will simply take a screenshot from this window that you can see it is not going to use crop view or any other thing let me just export it to show you how it looks well this is the image that you can get in that option for example if i move this project browser to this part or if i move these properties to the base or top of this view it will export the parts that we can see in this view right now and with the third option we can actually select the views that we want to export if you switch to these selected view sheets and go to this select you can select the parts that you want to export you will have all of the views that you have in project browser for example you can check some of plans and some of the reflected ceiling elevations maybe maybe some 3d views some details a structure area plans and whatever that you need if you are not sure how they look you can click on this preview it will show you a preview of that image from this display filter you can select if you want to have only sheets or maybe only 3d views or 2d views and after that you can check them and export them and in this part we have the edit print order so with this you can change the order of their printing and then if you click on this select you can export all of the parts the third section is about the options we have five different options in here and well they are pretty simple so if you check this box if you have any 
other Revit project that is linked to your project will become below if you export your image. The next option is hide reference planes or work planes. This is very helpful because, well, sometimes we have a lot of reference planes in a project, in a family also. And also we might have our work planes active. We might show the reference plans. And if you check it, it will not be in your image. Well, in a final image, we don't really need to see these kind of details. Then we have these hide scope boxes. It will hide if you have any scope box in any views, any sheet that you have added to this export image window. It works like this option of the Pyrevit we talked about a few days ago. It simply hides the selection box in your images. And then we have these hide crop boundaries. Let's go to this detail again. And in here you can see the black line in this part. If you want to export this image with all of these grids and these levels around it, there will be this black line, this black crop view line in your image too. So if you check that option in this part, you can export your image without this. The last option is hide unreferenced view tags. So we use a lot of tags in our project, especially in plans and elevations or things like this. But sometimes they are not attached to an object or to an element. So in this case, they don't give any information. So it will be better to not see those tags at all. So if you check this box, they are not going to be in your image. Next section is about the size, it's image size. We have two parts in here, fit to and zoom to. In this part, we have the number of pixels, so you can set this number on any number that you want. The higher the number of your pixels, the higher the quality of your image will be. Or you can switch to zoom to and you change this number to anything that you want. Again, the higher this number is, the more quality you will get. The last section is about the format. You remember I told you that you can change the type of your image from this part. If you want to change it, you need to do it from here. We have shaded view and non-shaded view. They both have five different format of images. I usually go with GPG and PNG and you can select either one of them that you need. Then we have this raster image quality. The higher this number is, the more quality you will have in your image. So I usually go with one of these two options and they give pretty much good quality. Now let me show you how I'm going to export this image. So first I'm going to set my view, set my crop view. I'm going to move these two parts closer to each other. Okay. And then, well, since I don't want to see any one of these annotation, I'm going to go to visibility and graphic and into the annotation category. In here, if I want to hide only these levels, I can find their category, this level, and I'm going to uncheck it and apply. If you look at it right now, you don't have any level in this view. But if you have a lot of annotation and you don't want to see any of them, you can simply uncheck this show annotation category in this view and they will all disappear. After that, I usually change the scale from this part. This is a 3D view, so we don't have any annotation or text in here. But if you do it in a plan view like this, I'm going to change it to 1 by 100 to show you how it looks. Well, this is not what we want to export. So if you want to export a very high quality, you need to set this scale first and then set the size of your text, the size of your dimension. But since this is a 3D view, we don't need to do it. I'm going to use 1 by 5 to see all of the details. And then I'm going to go to export again. And in here, I'm going to change the name to let's say B. Since I only need this window, this image, I'm going to set it on current window. And well, let's keep all of these checked. Then I usually use zoom too, 
let's change this to 300 and change the format to lossless for raster image quality i'm going to go v300 okay if these numbers are too high it might take a little bit time to export your image just keep this in mind if you want to export anything from revit save your project first and then export this is the image and let's zoom in to see how we can see the details perfect this is a lot of zoom so i think this is a really good quality for an image this is perfect let me also show you how you can make your image visually better you can go to this graphic display option and check these smooth lines it will give a better shape a better look to your lines and after that you need to check these to cast shadow and show ambient shadow if you don't want this it's up okay but make sure you check this ambient shadow then if you want you can use the sketchy lines i usually like to put these two on two this is the way i do this and then we have this depth queuing this works only in sections or elevation so it's not active in here and after that we have this lighting I'm going to increase this ambient lighting and I need a little bit sun and also shadow and after that we have this background with this you can change it to a sky gradient or image and create interesting backgrounds for your project apply and okay well if you export your image like this it will look much better so yes that's it I hope it was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!